Hello, my name is Magdalena Proszowska and welcome to the 10 minute tutorial about painting lips. So I'm starting by drawing from a very simple sketch and I gathered a few photo references uh, using a small software called Quadro to load images as a floating windows on my desktop and I will keep them here uh, to look and uh, understand the surface that I need to paint. Um, it's easy to imagine that um, the chin is an oval and the, there is a second bigger oval coming from the top of the nostrils, uh, corner of the lips and touching the chin oval and those will be uh, treated as a separate shape, so they will have their own highlight and their own shadow um, for the uh, anatomy surrounding the lips. But just starting with the lips, I will grab any uh, of the brushes and paint the lips uh, around with the red. I really want to achieve a very uh, saturated, intense red lips, a very shiny surface um, that will start just with uh, the shape of it and with the basic shading. So here is the shadow that I said earlier about those two ovals and I am filling up those spaces right now. So we have a very strong highlight catching on the um, top part of the chin and the skin surrounding the mouth uh, is a sphere so uh, there is the highlights and shadow catching uh, um, here. The corner of the lips will be much brighter because they are uh, directed to the source of um, light and I will just fill in the uh, entry, the inside of the mouth with dark color and just slightly show up the teeth, but I will not make them white, they are in the shadow, so the teeth will be much much darker. I really like the idea of lips being so wet that they are glued together, so I will not paint the line dividing them through the whole lip, but just leave the slight connection uh, at the very edge when the lips are opening. Darkening the shadow underneath the lower lip. And I will flip the whole canvas just to see if the lips look symmetrical and I think everything looks okay, so I will just continue with the shading. I turned off the sketch a while ago, I don't really need it any longer. The rest is just the rendering of the shadows uh, and highlights on the surface. I think I will raise the corners of the lips to give her a broader smile um, so she is not only blowing glitter from her hands, she also has this uh, smile with just corners of her mouth. I move the reference photos to my other screen so I can zoom in and focus on the details. I am painting in some of the wrinkles uh, on the lips, but not too many, just slight indication uh, to make them feel more realistic, but not overdoing it. I will add more of the wrinkles with the reflection later. You will see then it is far enough. Uh, the shadow doesn't need to be painted everywhere and the uh, highlighted wrinkles 
will be f uh, enough to look really realistic. Um, because my uh, lips here that I am painting are very reflective, uh, I want to introduce as well the reflection uh, on the upper lip in the shadow area, so at the bottom part of it there is a reflection of the lower lip. And because it's a reflected light and the surface that it reflects from is already red, this reflected light will be more saturated than the highlight on the lips. It's not very extremely visible, but it's something that I am thinking about. And I am adding the highlights and what I want you to notice is that I am not using the white color for the highlight, but I went for a warm uh, color. It's a uh, warm yellow. Uh, and uh, later I will grab the white color and just Mm, put it on a few spots and I recommend to avoid painting with a pure white color because it uh, when mixed with other colors it really desaturate them so um, this is the last step that I will add uh, white um, reflections just in a few places um, but not paint the whole highlight with the white color Just few final fixes and I am almost done with uh, painting the lips. It looks really nice, so uh, I will stop right here and thank you so much for uh, coming here and seeing the tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day!